Hello, and welcome to another episode of LFA Shop Shop. <laughs> More garbage. <laughs> welcome to another episode of LFA Shop Shop. This week, Falcon runs for two minutes, and I clean up for ten. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LFH Chop Shop. So this week we get another project car. Um, definitely don't need it, but let's go get one. Good old Dale lending me his trailer again. Thanks, Dale. Oh, this is quality. It's a classic. You probably historic with this. So this is the new Dunger. I mean, project car that Dale's selling me. Best car he's ever owned since the VN. Best car, eh? Best car I've ever owned, he says. Where's the back caliper again? In the back seat. <laughs> on the floor. So this was a paddock matter at Dale's Block. Um, you guys would have seen that video before. The tyre popped, ripped the caliper off. The mirrors have fallen off for some reason. Just Dale things I guess. And this bumper has been melted from the exhaust. And also there's a dent here that's pretty big and pushed the tail light out. So I'm gonna have to try and get it reasonably clean for what I want to do. And he's also lost the key, so we can't even drive it or start it or turn the ignition barrel or anything. But it is an EL Falcon, and that is literally all I know. It's an auto, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you should see on the bottom as well. It's a nice amount of brown everywhere. Okay. And yeah, it's very dusty. We'll get it off the truck and I'll show you anyway. But it's super filthy. So we're going to take it off this off this truck with a forklift because we can't find the key and put it on his trailer over there. So the bonnet's not bolted on but it still clips in so apparently that's good and it's also very filthy. It's got all the blind shit on it. Oh look at the red backs. Oh red backs too. Wonderful. It's a good size one. Where? Yeah. Red boy. Good soup. Good soup. <laughs> At least the window's not broken. Yet. Yet. It'll break on the way home because the bonnet's not bolted on. This can only end well. <laughs> Do it again. That's sketchy as. The back wheels are coming off the ground. Why is it every time we're in a forklift, we do how not to forklift? We're currently counterweight. It's a really good noise. You should keep doing it. Putting the threads for you. Thanks, buddy. They're a real pal. So we just got the Falcon from Dale's house. Um, we made the back wheel roll because the tire was wrapped around the brake. Um, there was a random caliper that he'd thrown in the back seat not off of that car, so it, the tyre popped, snapped the brake line and jammed the handbrake on, but the caliper's actually still there. So we got rid of the caliper, I don't know whether that's even off off, so it's just a random extra caliper. Um, cut the tyre off, put a new wheel on it, so at least rolls. Um, still no keys, so the steering's locked on and it's reasonably straight, and we're heading home now to try and pull it off of the trailer, but we'll see how we get back, because it's kind of getting dark. Alright, it's dark. I tried to reverse the trailer into the side of the shed to use the pole, but the chassis is in the way, so I can't actually get the right angle. So I've tied it to the chassis, to the back of the Falcon, and hopefully going to drive away and drag the ramps along behind me and the car will fall off, bump into the tyre nice and gently, 
happy sailing. Let's see how this goes. All right, I got a dodgy camera angle going. I got a light out the back. Give this a go. All right, so I got the truck kind of bogged. It's not bogged, it just won't move because there's not enough um, grip on the back wheels. So just try and push the Falcon back a bit more, I guess. Oh, let's see. Still in neutral, hammock down. I'll see if I can push it off. If not, I'll just keep uh, trying to get the truck to come out. We pushed the Falcon back. Now I'm going to try and get the truck off. So today's the day I'm going to clean the Falcon. Uh, we picked this up during the week. We went and got a rear bar from you pull it. Got a new pair of tail lights. Got some mirrors. Got a brake line, some indicators. Um, last night Ronnie and I drilled out the ignition barrel because we can't find the key. Um, so we're going to have to replace that at some point. And then there's heaps of gross tint. All the wheels are trashed. Um, these two seem to be holding air but the other two are non-existent. We bolted the bonnet back on. Needs a good clean, um, good de-grease. This tire's not even on the rim anymore. And this one is the wrong rim for this car. So I'm gonna try and clean it up a bit today. Um, I'm gonna give it a good old degrease, good scrub, and wash it all, get all the leaves off and everything. And then Dave is gonna come around and help me polish the thing because he lost the keys. <laughs> so that was the deal we made. Um, I do have number plates and registration for this thing. So if we can get it running, then I can actually register it, um, so we'll try and make it pretty clean. But at the moment, as you can see, there is a lot of dust. Um, the front seats look remotely clean because Ronnie and I rubbed most of it off with our backs yesterday. Um, inside the boot looks reasonable, but it's not. And then, yeah, there's just a lot of dust everywhere. Everywhere. So, let's give this thing a good clean. All right, so engine bay's done, onto the outside of the car. Let's try and get this a little bit cleaner. Just to put it in perspective what I'm doing. Unclean, clean, and it's still not clean. It's just not dirty. So about halfway done with the car. I'm gonna take the rear bumper off later anyway, so I'm not gonna bother with that. And I'll probably pop the tail lights out at some point and uh, clean those a bit better. And also, once the interior is vacuumed, I'll have to pull open the boot and clean all in there as well. All right, so I've done the rest of the car off camera. Um, it took quite a long time. The boot has been resprayed, so the paint just came straight off. I did the roof, did the this whole side. It's looking a lot better. Um, it's still obviously grungy as but it's a lot better than it was so I'm gonna open the doors and spray the door jams and the actual doors themselves and just even leave them open until they're dry um, I'm gonna pull the whole interior out of this thing or a lot of it anyway so it doesn't really bother me um, get a bit of water in there so I'll just open the doors and spray everything on the inside all right so I got the boot open need to replace this tail light 
Um, there's a few things wrong with it. And then I've got a spare wheel in here, which is good because one's or two are flat. So I have caps, may as well pop this head tail light out as well and pressure wash all the back, get this rubber nice and clean, get all the gunpowder here. And all of this stuff around here. Keep washing. Just keep washing. So this guy got a bit hot at some point. I'm not sure what's going on there, but that's another problem. Alright, so I bought uh, two tail lights the other day. I probably only needed this one, but I bought two just in case they were slightly different. Um, I may return one, so here we go. But let's get this one out. And then I'm going to take that one out anyway and uh, clean the behind the housings. Alright, so the car is clean. Well, it's not. This is all tree sap that doesn't come off with a pressure washer. And you can probably just see on camera I've done this little bit here. So it's going to take a while. Um, Em's just going to get some more different detergent-y stuff to see if it makes the... There you go. Agent Orange. Oh, sorry. No, it's Orange Agent. My mistake. Hopefully this works. Because this is going to take forever otherwise. Alright, so Dale's here. He's got his buff. He's done this guard. You can't really see on camera because it's pretty overcast today, but this guard is a million times better. He's just starting on the door. He's going to work away around, and I'm going to start stripping the interior and vacuuming stuff and cleaning the interior up. So I'll just show you what I'm working with before I pull it apart. All right, we've been polishing, or Dale's been polishing the car for like two hours now. Um, I've been doing miscellaneous stuff, pulled the boot apart, put some mirrors on it, put a tail light in it. Um, we hit this back corner and got the dent out pretty well. The trolley dent. Um, the trolley, it's now a trolley dent. May have been drift, drift damage, but now it's a trolley dent. It was definitely pit maneuvered in It got pit maneuvered apparently. Um, so we're going to put another tail light back in and it's all coming together. Interiors a lot better but I haven't actually started cleaning it I just vacuumed it and took the seats out and Dale's gonna do the two doors the roof and the bonnet yeah he doesn't want to do the roof because it's covered in tree sap uh, razor blade with all the windows so they're all a bit cleaner um, I still need to do the insides but I'm just gonna try and focus on the outside today and then I'll do the inside later and then he hasn't punched the bonnet yet but we cleaned that so Emily and I kind of scrubbed that and it took forever. Um, it's a whole lot better than it was, but once he actually polishes it, it'll come out real nice. This is dead smooth, so absolutely polished turd. Alrighty, so Dale had to leave. Um, we just quickly pushed the car back inside. I don't know how much better you can see it on camera. But this thing is much shinier. So still got to replace the rear bar, obviously. Got the tail lights back in. Um, we knocked the corner out a little bit, so that's not too bad. Um, and then this side's all pretty clean as well. And then come around to the front. Bonnet's heaps better. Obviously, when this is done, done, I'll push it outside and um, get it in the sun. So I still do the front bumper, still do the rear bumper. But while I wait for Dale to have another free day, I'm going to clean the interior and get everything nice and tidy. And I'll probably order some. Uh, ECU bypass stuff and a new key barrel and all that sort of stuff. Just try and clean up things like this. Get it all pretty nice. Um, it's much better than it was. Much better. Alright, so I'm not sure what I showed last. Um, I did get the steering column off. I had to weld some bolts, some old bolts, to the top of these bolts here because the heads are uh, torque to yield. So once you get it tight enough, they snap off. So I got that off, that was no issues. Um, then I had to try and get the key barrel out, which you can see I succeeded in, but at what cost? <laughs> so I ran a drill bit, a Christmas tree bit drill bit through it, because um, I couldn't actually get the thing to turn. And then I went a bit too deep into this part and actually snapped the driver ignition barrel bit. So when you turn the key, it turns this little gear on the back or this little square section and that's supposed to clip into this guy and then this goes through 
And then this side turns the ignition barrel itself or the um, switch, which is some of this. Um, and then that also interferes with your steering lock, which is the flat side here. And this guy, uh, your steering lock. So obviously that's uh, not salvageable. Um, I could, however, probably put a screwdriver all the way back there and turn this on. Um, but I just bought another one. So I bought one with a key. So this key is the new one. And this is the old barrel, so you can see I kind of munched that a bit. So I've taken the new key out. Um, I've ordered a new set, so I've got a pair of door locks, a boot lock, and an ignition barrel lock like this, all coming. And it also comes with uh, four new keys. So I bought a new ignition barrel lock combo thingy, which is this guy here. So I've just plugged that in. Um, and that gets me a key or an ignition barrel I can turn. And then apparently, if you turn it on and leave it for 15 minutes, the smart lock disables and then you can start the car. So I've just chucked a battery in it. I'm just about to flick this ignition on and then we'll wait 15 minutes and see if we can start the car. All right, so I've flicked the ignition barrel on. We've got 289,000 kilometers and you can see the smart lock is flashing. So we'll just leave this for 15 minutes and come back and see if it starts, I guess. I suppose I should probably crank it and see what happens now though. Let's do that. So turning the key, absolutely nothing happens. Let's leave it alone for 15 minutes and see if anything happens. All right, it's been 10 minutes. The smart lock's still flashing. We'll come back in another couple minutes to see if it turns off. It's been 15 minutes and it's still not turned off. All right, so I just missed it, unfortunately. Um, it is, it's been like 25 minutes and smart lock's just turned completely on on the dash um, and the doors unlocked and locked a bunch of times so I kind of wish I didn't miss that but let's give it a go so all that it cranked for half a second and the battery disconnected so let's connect the battery again and wait another 25 minutes and try again all right so I just connected the battery again um, the smart lock didn't come back on and I did try and give it a crank and it turned over a little bit but I stopped because I didn't want to fire it up and not have a camera going. So this is bypassing the BCM at the very least, which cuts out crank, and then the ECU also cuts out the injectors. So hopefully this has some fuel in it that's not complete garbage, and also that the ECU is letting the injectors fire. But I'll crank it over and we'll see if we get any life. It's also probably not been started in like two and a half years. So M just noticed that there was sparking from this um, cylinder five to the head. And it's actually a piece of garden hose. <laughs> so I think that's to be expected for a little bit. I might have to get some new leads. Let's see if I can get it going again. Might spray something in there. Try and get something happening. A little bit. A little bit. The fuel gauge is on empty and the light is on, so that wouldn't be helping. Okay. Welcome back to Cap or No Cap. Bloody Hey, you falcon! Yeah, I can't believe it. Put all my money together. Finally got the car in my dreams. And hey, you falcon! Ah! Uh. 
Ah, there's something leaking. Stop. <laughs> Is that all of the fuel? Hmm. Uh, or is it coolant? Don't, can you, you need a towel or something. No, it's water. It's probably the radiator. Oh, that's quite a lot. Four nine thousand taste buds? Yeah, most of them. Um, look, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna say it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Can't be heaps important, right? Just got excited and wet itself a little bit. Yeah, it's like, oh, attention! I do that sometimes too. Well, that's dry as, so. It <sighs> certainly is something that's leaking. <laughs> Whatever. How's it feel? I can go. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Ran for two minutes, cleaned up for six. It's good. Standard. You got a pack it. Radiator. Oh, the pen has exploded. Oh dear. That's about how well everything's going. <laughs> the too long didn't watch version. This is basically what how it went. Radiator. <laughs> Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Don't forget to fix the radiator. It's also garbage. Someone in the Falcon World was in there like, that's a bloody clean eel, Falcon. How dare you call it garbage? Alright, so the next thing to replace is this brake line because it is snipped in half. So I've got one from you pull it, I'll just pull it off, put the new one on. I'm going to bleed the brakes at some point today as well. All right, so new bumper on, still needs to be polished. Front bumper needs to be polished. Uh, M just helped me bleed the brakes. And I got a new tail light loom from you pull it for this tail light. And then back on the ground, obviously. I've glued and screwed this trim back on. Um, the screw was just because it was being really annoying. And then also glued this lens back on because it actually fell off when we were polishing the car. Got a list going. Um, I'll go through that later when I've worked it all out. Um, so now I'm just going to jump inside and put the steering column back together with the new um, ignition barrel lock thingy that I got. So I'm waiting for the keys to come from eBay, which I can add those in later. Um, I'm just gonna put everything back together as much as I can for now, and then probably rip the back seats out, which I've started. Um, and I'd probably like to get the carpet out if it's not a huge pain, or maybe clean it in the car. You know, clean the dash and the center console, and do something about this roof lining because it's also horrible. But it's slowly getting there. There's a bit of stuff around there. I had to weld bolts to the new lock as well to get that apart. Um, and then I had to put the key in to make it actually all work. So it just kept popping apart, but now it should work. There we go. So I'm gonna try and drive this thing out of here. We have got brakes. Um, I don't have a seat obviously, but that's, that's a minor problem. So I'm gonna try and drive this thing out the front and uh, continue working on it out there.
All right, something to note that I need to fix for later. The exhaust actually doesn't come out the back of the car. Um, the muffler has broken in half. So just there, um, a muffler starts just here and goes that way. And the end of it is actually snapped off. The uh, exhaust is supposed to come out just here. And if you go under the back, the muffler is snapped off up in there. So I don't want to drive it too much. Get this bumper hot and melt it like I did with the, or like the, someone did with the other one. And it also melted the tail light. So I don't want to drive it too much until I get that fixed. All right, so I didn't bother filming. It was literally just me scrubbing. Um, I've cleaned all the dash. I haven't done the windows yet, but I've cleaned all the dash, all the center console. Still looks a bit brown on camera. Um, it's probably still a bit brown in person, to be honest, but it's a lot better than it was. And then Maguire's um, carpet cleaner to try and clean the carpet and scrub the hell out of it. Got a few of the stains out, and the ones that didn't come out were lightened, so, you know, good enough. Um, so I can probably put the seats back in. Um, I also bug sprayed it and sprayed it with Pongo, which is like a smell odor remover. Um, not that this actually did smell, but I don't want it to. Probably put the seats in. Um, the back ones are over there. I've pressure washed those and they're drying currently. Um, probably not going to be done today, I don't think. But the front ones I did a few days ago, so I can probably put them back in. And also all the stuff for the boot has all been cleaned and dried, so I can probably pull that in as well. Alright, so a bit of tyre shine. Got the back, the front seats in, the back seats are still drying, cleaned everything, assembled it all, actually came up really good. Remember this did come out of a paddock so it's not bad. Um, we've got the back seat ready to go back in, um, still drying obviously, the boots all back together, all the plastics are back in, so it's pretty much where we're going to have to leave it for now um, until the seats are dry. The bonnet needs another polish because I did a bad job. And the bumpers need to go. And then what else we got? Refit seats. Need to get a new battery. Remove the tint. Clean the windows. Polish the bumpers. The ECU bypass. Um, the turn the key ignition on for 25 minutes, and then it seems to turn off. So unless the battery goes flat, I can't really see an issue um, with the ECU thing. If I need it, I need it, but I don't think I need it so far. Um, keys are on their way, and I'll do them when they get here radiator or whatever is leaking water I need to look into got a bit of a misfire um, put the plates on register it and the exhaust that I spoke about slightly earlier there's a cat rolling around in the dirt Felix hey so I'm gonna leave it there for today I'm gonna grab the seats and put them in tomorrow probably start cleaning the windows um, it does need another clean because there's actually a lot of grub grime and grub everywhere and then start addressing other stuff on that list, I guess. All right, so Emily and I have been pulling tint off. It's a miserable job if you've ever done it before. Done the other side, and we're just doing this side. And Em reckons this bit's gonna come off pretty good. That does look pretty good. It's too wet now. It's too wet. <laughs> what did you spray on it? Oh. So the other side was super crusty and we had to scrape it all off. Um, but Em's having a bit of luck with this side. Alright, so Emily, shout out to Emily. Um, we ripped the tint off and then scrubbed the hell out of the windows and then Em went back and finished cleaning them. She did a really good job. Um, I would like to say I helped, but I probably hindered. But as you can see, the car looks a whole lot tidier now with the clean windows. Um, I'm probably going to get re-tinted at some point. Um, but anyway, the interior is looking really good. It's as good as it can anyway. Back seat's back in. There's a little stain on the seat that couldn't get, didn't come out, but other than that, pretty happy with it. And then the boot is all together as well, actually. I need to get that key barrel, which is on its way. And then the boot's all nice and clean as well. Almost like a real car. Next thing to address is this horrible paint. Um, Emily's gonna restore it with a, a slice of paint that she's prepared. And it should look good enough for who it's for. It's a 
a different shade of white, but it doesn't matter. All right, so we've got the interior back together. We've got everything clean, got the windows clean, got the tint off, even tire shine, the tires. Um, that's probably it for this week. Uh, next week, we're gonna have to actually make this thing drivable and reliable and kind of try and make it look cool as well. So thanks heaps for watching and we'll see you next week.